the line of the verse was, it is good to be innocent in the evil world of all good. What do you think? Uh, innocence <laughs> is innocence. Go thanks. Go <laughs> All right, so this is the generic one I'm doing for all the people who can't be here. I like it. Hey, people who can't be here. <laughs> um, so I was thinking when I saw you earlier, how's your life changed since the Hurt Locker? Um, my life is pretty much the same. My yeah. career has gone to a completely different level. Um, I feel like I still have the same group of friends. I still have the, uh, the same aggressive uh, representatives. Uh, I just feel like now people in California know who I am. Whereas before, I was pretty much perceived as an East Coast actor. Now, everyone has kind of recognized who I am. Um, and what, did, what drew you to Man on a Ledge? The script. Uh, I had never played a character like Mike Ackerman, who was so, uh, you know, he was, he's kind of like the crux of the plot of the film. The audience goes as I take them. So when they figure me out, they figure the film out. So when talking to Asger about it, you know, he was so focused on character. And knowing his work and wanting to work with him, it was, you know, a 50-50 split between the script and Asger. I was all aboard. When you play a character like that, do you sort of have to find the, I don't know, the way he doesn't see what he's doing as he's his own victim? With, I'm trying to not give anything away. Oh, I'm like, mm, uh, uh, do you know what I'm saying? Very Freudian. <laughs> mm. The um, no, I mean, when you play a character like that, like Mike Ackerman, you have to play the reality of the moment because you have no idea what's going to happen today after this moment. You have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. So all you can do is play everything that's happened up to right now, and it's the same thing with acting. Um, you know, you can't play the future even though you know the future. If you are true about the moment that you're in, it'll come across on screen and the audience will put on you whatever they want to put on you. Unless you're in a James Bond movie, then it's just like, mm, I'm the bad guy, I'm rich. Mm. You should do a James Bond movie. I would movie, love though. to do it. I've been working on my British accent to do a James Bond. <laughs> you don't have to have a British accent in those you movies. I worked to. on like six of them. You really? Know, you know, on James know. Bond? Yeah, yeah, I did the Pierce ones. You gotta have a British accent. You can, yeah. You can, you can, yeah. All right. I can, I can do it. I went That's to Julia. That's a villain, though. You could be from anywhere and have any nah, accent. James you want to have the British accent. It would be you and James Bond and Compton. That would be a good James Bond. In a serious or a comedy? In a serious. I mean, if he can go to the damn polar ice slopes, yes. he can come to Compton. Okay. All right. Right? All right. I'm down with that. Um, what? Did you get out there on the ledge? Did you I step did out there? I did a little bit. I stepped out there, and then I had my fun, and I came back in. Did you, would, you, would you say it was fun? Uh, I had fun uh, until I thought I was going to fall. That's when I went back in the window. <laughs> um, and then you've played other cops. I mean, do you, when you go into a role like this, do you think, do you, I mean, you've met with them before, or did you meet uh, with them? I stay or? as far away from cops as possible. I have a pretty good track record with the NYPD, and I try to keep it that way. <laughs> okay. What about other PDs? <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, the New Orleans PD loves me. I don't know what it is. I'm like, y'all pull me over for walking. I got pulled over for riding a bike. Ooh, okay. NOPD. Well, there you go. Um, what else do you have? What else is up for you this year? Uh, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Mm-hmm. 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 Man on a Ledge. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then at the end of the year, uh, Gangster Squad. Fuck yeah. All right. Not much to say. Thank you very much. There it is. Okay. Good to see you, my man. Thank you. Enjoy yourself.